Hey guys, it's me, John Avenger, once again. Welcome back to my uh, Black History Month slash low-rated movies month. And this time we got a real treat from the early 90s. This is with uh, Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans. This is an action comedy from the early 90s that was uh, cons considerably overlooked. It was overlooked from a lot of critics and a lot of, you know, fans of Bruce Willis. You know, this was a fun movie, though. This was before he did Die Hard with a Vengeance. That's... Uh, Last Boy Scout, the goal is to survive. Yeah, it's a pretty cool movie. I really enjoy the film. I saw it a long time ago. This is the synopsis quick. Um, Bruce Willis is a private eye ticking corruption inside pro football, which the film starts with a football game, and uh, Billy Blanks is playing the game, and he like he's drugged out of his mind, and then he, he, he's killing people on the field with a gun, and then he kills himself. But that's how the film starts. It sets the tone. And the deadly line of scrimmage stretches across L.A. in The Last Boy Scout. Damon Wayans and Halle Berry join Bruce Willis. Yeah, this is Halle Berry in an early role. In an incendiary smash mouth action film directed by Tony Scott. Yeah, Tony Scott did this film. Uh, well, this one. He didn't do Dead Bang or Action Jackson. But it's a really fun movie. Like, you know, Bruce Willis is uh, snarky. Like, it's basically like his John McClane character. But, you know... um, not they don't say as many curse words they do curse in it because it's all rated so it's not for kids but he's snarky and you know there's a lot of sense of humor him and damon waynes have a good rapport with each other uh, it's got a lot of supporting cast members that i like in it you have um well uh you have uh, chelsea field she was in um andre and, and and a bunch of other films you know i like her as an actress so you have uh noble willingham i never heard of him but i've said he's in the film Taylor Negron, me, rest in peace. He was in Angels in the Outfield, and he was a pizza guy in Fast Times at Richmond High. And you have young Danielle Harris. This was years after she did Halloween's 4 and 5. She's a cute teenage girl. You know, she's snark. She's a, a spitfire. You know, I like to see her on screen. She went from a cute little girl to a gorgeous woman. So we have that. And yet, this is a Tony Scott movie that not a lot of people talk about. You know, uh, it's one of his... Uh, obscure films even though it has two lead actors that are really good together and uh you know it's also written by shane black and this is before he wrote and directed his own films uh this was in the early 90s and it is a buddy cop film in a way even though um damon waynes is not a cop he used to be a football player and then now he's like a, he's addicted to drugs and you know him and and um and bruce willis talk to each other a lot they argue a lot but hey you know Sometimes racial tension happens in these films. This is the the DVD set. Uh, this is Action Jackson, and this is the film. It's on a dual layer disc. But the film is fine. I mean, it's a, it's an underrated film. I, I I think it gets like a five or six on IMDb. I don't know, but it gets a low rating on Rotten Tomatoes because it wasn't Die Hard. But it's a fun movie. Like I said, you know, if you haven't seen a Bruce Willis movie from the early '90s that isn't Die Hard Two or Die Hard with a Vengeance, this is the film for you because it, the action sequences are well done. It's not too long. It's only 96... Well, no, it's uh, it's 105 minutes. So it's not two hours. It's an hour and 45. But it goes by quick. It doesn't feel too long. And, you know, the acting's really good. It's funny. It's got a witty script. And the premise is, is interesting. I wish this film had features. It doesn't. It's just... Also, the DVD is, is full screen. All of these are full screen. That kind of sucks. But... I think this is on Blu-ray, so if they have it on Blu-ray, I want to get it so I could get the widescreen versions, because, uh, you know, full screen is just not the same. You know, you, you just get to see, like, this much, and then widescreen, you see all of it, and movies look a lot better on uh, in widescreen. But other than that, the film is a really fun movie. I wish I had a commentary so I could hear Tony Scott's, you know, thoughts on how, the making of the film, what he thought about working with Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans and all these other actors. And uh, it's not a classic, but I do enjoy the film. I haven't reviewed it in my channel, so I wanted to, since it's been, you know, year. it's been a long time since I've reviewed a Bruce Willis movie. It's been a while. And uh, it's fun. You know, an early 90s film, of course, it couldn't match up with Terminator 2, because that was one of the biggest action films of all time in the 90s. But it still holds its own. It's fun. It's fast-paced, action-packed. And I don't know what else to say more about it, because, you know, I don't remember the villain in it. But uh, I, despite the villain not being very, you know, interesting, I still thought the film, these two worked in the film, and I'm glad that I got this on DVD. It's 
definitely worth a, a, a watch for the Bruce Willis. You know, if you ever do a Bruce Willis marathon on YouTube, uh, it's one of his hidden gems from the early 90s. Because in the early 90s, he wanted to do more comedies and like dramas. Some of them worked and some of them didn't. Because in the 90s, I hated uh, Hudson Hawk. That movie just annoyed the piss out of me. That's why I didn't want to review it this month because it's so annoying. But he, he, you know, he also did, I think, Bonfire of the Vanities, which is like a book adaptation, a uh, live action film. And then he did um, North, which is one of the worst films he's ever been in. It's a joke. The good thing about it is that it was the first film Scarlett Johansson did. But this is one of his good ones in the 90s. So it definitely feels like a 90s film. The score and the, and the, and the soundtrack and everything, it just, it has a very 90s feel to it. And... Uh, Daniel Harris in the movie, she's watching uh, the original Lethal Weapon on TV, which is, that's a nice nod, because before this uh, movie, you had Lethal Weapon 1 and 2, and then in 92, you had Lethal Weapon 3. And uh, yeah, if you want to watch a Bruce Willis film that's different and not one of his recent, like, director video schlock, I would recommend Last Boy Scout. It is a fun time. So that's my thoughts on The Last Boy Scout. It's definitely, it's eligible for Black History Month, because Damon Wayans is black and he's in the film, so that's pretty cool. And I like Damon Wayans. I like this show that he did in the 90s, um, My Wife and Kids, or the 2000s, whatever. He was good in that, and he's done some fun movies. The Wayans have a lot of talent in that family. but And he's one of the lesser... He does less stupid things like Marlon and Sean did in the, in the 2000s and the 2010s. And uh, I like the films that he's done. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I will see you in the next review. See ya.